So we wanted to, to take a moment just to speak to everyone and make sure everyone understands that the three of us represent a portion of just the Bay Area Battery Collective. So we got together in 2020 and I think I was late to the game. You guys started before me. I'm not sure exactly how many months before me, but you guys got to deal with all the bureaucracy and stuff like that. So when I, I came in for the fun, for the nuts and bolts, organizing people, getting people together. So we got together with just really wanting to provide a service for the community and individuals of the community who were in hard places uh, or hard hit by either natural disasters that we could do something impactful or unnatural disasters such as PG&E here in California, Pacific Gas and Electric is our gas and electric company, um, just to try to provide other options for people. So in doing that, we worked out a lot of different bugs. We jumped through a lot of hoops just to try to figure out what's the easiest way, one, to build a battery, two, to be able to set up a network of individuals who care enough to try to uh, maintain the batteries, to share the batteries, to find individuals and to be able to communicate how can someone get a battery if they need one. It takes time. So I wanna make sure everyone understands that it takes time, it takes energy. We're here today because the three of us are here today because we would like to, to pass this information on. We don't believe in hoarding knowledge. We don't believe in having something and calling it our own. Certain things belong to individuals, our, our souls, and then other things belong not to an individual, but more to a collective. There's a lot of things that happen right now in the world where people get charged like money for basic needs, like things that we need to survive. A lot of those things historically have been free, the communal things. They weren't commodities. So uh, water, where you'd have a well, the entire village had rights to the well. There was no dispute about that. People didn't have to flip coins didn't have to pay like all of those things is is really bizarre how they've changed over time same thing with energy i don't think they charge for air yet but i'm sure that's probably coming soon but just I, we wanted to make sure everyone understands that we're here to try to give information to provide you guys with what we have gone through what we suffered through so you guys don't have to do the same suffering uh, hopefully creating a shortcut for some individuals here who want this information. Um, we don't get anything out of this other than trying to give back what we believe um, belongs to everyone here on this call. Uh, there's no hierarchy. <laughs> we're all here. We're all sharing. There's information that you guys have shared already that uh, we've benefited from and we're going to continue to benefit from. So we appreciate that. Uh, if you guys do have a, a cover charge for that, let us know uh, via chat. Uh, if not, we'll assume it's all communal information. And that's it. I think uh, the last thing that we all wanted to do is just make sure that we clearly ask for permission to share that information with everyone. Again, I, I'll just reiterate that we are asking for permission to be able to share this information with you all uh, and that you guys trust that the reason that we're doing it is what we just said, which is to uh, continue to keep communal information. The information that we share, we would hope that the people who hear it will take that information and share it also. That would be great. And any flaws that we make, we apologize for ahead of time. Uh, yeah. And with that, I think I'll hand it off to Crystal. We're going to be talking about understanding batteries. And so what we're going to be doing for the next 45 minutes remaining is to gain knowledge about batteries, their management and usage within the battery collective or emergency community backup power supply that we are going to start together in your community.